Hey there, and today it's time for my first ever FIFA 17 squad builder myself and a really epic designer put this together for you guys. Spent a lot of time on this and the fact that it's come out as this is really exciting. First up in the team, gotta go with Manuel Neuer. You guys wanted me to create a team of three different leagues from around the world with the only ratings that have been revealed. So only about 60 players have been announced so far and this is the team that I've put together for you. Boateng goes in the team, they're 90 rated card, 90 defending. I mean, honestly, I cannot contain my excitement for this team. It's so brilliant. And if you guys do want to get free V points, by the way, the link is down below to add bounty. Definitely check it out. It's on both iPhone and Android. Really awesome app there for you. Pepe, though, is in the team, 88 rating. What are your thoughts on these centre-back ratings? Are these right? Right. Are they missing something? Let me know in the comments. I feel like Pepe may be a bit too high. Not sure about your opinion. But yeah, Ramos is next to Pepe with his 89 rated card. Gareth Bale. What a card. That is nothing short of sensa sensational there for Gareth Bale. I mean, that is a ridiculous card. It's going to be one of the best cards in the whole game for sure. And especially if you get a centre mid card or even CF or striker card, it's going to be one of the best cards on the whole game. Marco Royce, guys, fit into the team here nicely. And with only like 60 odd players to choose from with all the ratings that have been announced so far, it was actually pretty tough. But the fact that we've actually been able to do this is really promising. Royce left mid is joined by Tony Cruz in the center of the team, as is his teammate there from Real Madrid, Luka Modric. What a card he has there. After him though, we go to the Premier League now with Deli Ali Akam slots in really nicely into this team. And then he's joined by his England teammate there, none other than Marcus Rashford. Come November time, I think this guy will be one of the most popular cheap players on the game. He will be incredible for sure with 90 pace. I cannot dispute that. We then complete my first FIFA 17 squad builder, guys, with who else than Harry Kane. What a card he has for me. Really cool card. I think he'll be very underrated on the new FIFA. I'm excited to use this card and looking at this squad and the way it's looking it's getting me even more hyped and just really pumped for the new game especially with the squad building challenges that will be added to FIFA 17 and the fact that so many new things are in this game I think overall I can say I can speak for all of us that we're very like hopeful that this could be the best FIFA we've ever played and that's you don't ever get that too much of FIFA and EA games in general like a lot of the time especially with the sport games you feel like they added new things to the game and then it's not all that different from the previous one. Whereas this one, for me, is looking really uh, promising overall and I'm very optimistic and it's not often that I'm that optimistic. I'm always quite optimistic in general and hopeful, but this time I'm very, very excited for the new FIFA. It's going to be an awesome game to play, but overall I love this squad. It's a really cool hybrid squad. It's my first hybrid squad on the game. And if you guys have any other challenges for me with FIFA 17 squads, let me know down in the comments below. The highest voted challenge will be the one I do next. There is my squad though. What is your best squad so far? And my god, FIFA 17 squad builders are going to be hype. If there was one tip I had to give you guys for FIFA 17 squad building challenges is to be aware that any time you discard a pack on the whole of the game on FIFA, be aware that that pack and the cards that it contains could come in really brilliant use for squad building challenges. If you think about it, squad building challenges can compromise of anything. So it could compromise on like a bronze card, a silver card, any kind of low rated gold card. So always think about that. Every other FIFA that we played before in Ultimate Team, when you've discarded a pack, it's because you don't need those cards. In FIFA 17 Ultimate Team, for the first time, you may actually need like that random low-rated low crappy bronze player that you got in a bronze pack. You may need him for a squad, so be aware of that. For me, I always like to discard packs, but going into this new FIFA, I'm using a different mindset that every pack could have something great and really awesome use for squad building challenges, which could in effect get me some better cards from working hard at the squad building challenges. If that makes sense, let me know. Also, I think Foothead and Footwiz will be really big in terms of helping you getting the squads that you need for squad building challenges. And yeah, man, I'm just really hyped for it. I feel like a lot of people haven't really been focusing on that too much. I feel like Foot Champions has got a lot of the brunt of the excitement. So I wanted to like bring that to you as well. A bit of a um, yeah, few tips for you for the new game. And I'm just really, yeah, squabbling challenges, man. It's honestly, it's, it's a massive game changer.